see people say rose is super easy to play and that you just press x to next over and over again but let me tell you right now how wrong that is here's minerva right if you're standing on the ground you've already failed yep you want to know how someone is good at this class or not look at the floor with the sole exception of viper shower one of her best skills while also being the one noteworthy for not being able to be used in midair you'll want to always be flying and let me introduce to you your best friend and simultaneously worst enemy servo nitro this lets you buff your jetpack giving you a powerful advantage that applies but only whenever you're in midair because of this playing your class becomes about cooperating with the awful flight controls just to get that efficiency increase oh and there's also key of proof which buffs skill damage and reduces skill mp cost in midair uh, just in case you didn't think servo nitro was important enough once you're in midair double tap left or right to fly off diagonally in that direction you can also double tap to slightly increase your height but the longer you've been without landing, the less effective it becomes, and it eventually gets to the point where it doesn't give you height at all. Still, that's okay, because pressing left and right double inputs gives you height, instead. As far as your mid-air attacks go, you pretty much only have two. You can press XX to fire off two diagonal shots, or you can press XZ to shoot once, perform a retreating kick, and then up to three more Xs to shoot up to three more times? Uh, I guess this lets you get off more shots between- but you're probably not gonna use this, I, I guess that's probably how I should say it. You're pretty much only gonna use the double X input, I don't know. Either way, once you perform either combo, by performing another flight input, you're able to use another combo. Minerva's all in the muskets, the other guns don't really matter much unless you want to be weird and use Blazing Bullet with your auto guns, which I don't recommend, but it is fun to do sometimes. Oh, and speaking of Blazing Bullet, you want that on at all times, just like with Servo Nitro. It's a bullet buff, which means you can't run it at the same time as Rising Shot or Freezing Bullet, but it's okay since it's pretty much the only one that matters anyway. If anyone here plays DFO, is it the same over there? If you just press up and X, you'll fire off a straight shot as per usual. If you press dash jump and X, you'll fire off a diagonal shot. However, once you start flying, you'll only fire diagonal shots. These diagonal shots can be pretty hard to learn how to do at first, but you don't really have much of a choice, and you can't act too quickly, since timing is a huge element in terms of aiming your shots. Alright, now here's the obligatory overstrike lesson. Rose has a feature for all her classes called overstrike. You've got a gauge under your MP that shows your ECP. It stands for energy colorless points, which is pretty dumb considering I do believe that's what you call yellow. ECP is on a scale from 0 to 100, even though there isn't a number to tell you that, and Rose's active skills cost ECP instead of MP. You might think that it's broken that she gets her active for free, but the goal with Overstrike is to actually spend as much of it as you can. If you can drop your ECP meter to the bottom, which you can do so by performing active skills in some gun combos, you'll enter Overstrike, where your guns are heated and you gain combo and all skill damage but lose the ability to use actives for a bit. During Overstrike, your ECP meter glows hot red and refills. By default, it lasts for 10 seconds, which is from when it starts refilling to when it finishes, but by third job, it lasts 20. As far as dungeons go, you'll want to be in Overstrike as much as possible because you want to get that sweet damage buff. The next thing we're going to want to talk about is the grenade system, and I want to make special mention to Flash Grenade here. It's an active that you'll definitely want to keep on you at all times. It combines with Servo Nitro and Blazing Bullet, the other two actives you'll want to have all the time, using all three in quick succession, does not bring you into Overstrike. You'll have to use another gun combo to get there. Well, it's worth it. Anyways, let's talk grenades. You're packing three, Flash, Pressure, and Freeze Grenades. Each of them applies a debuff. Flash grenades are the odd ones out though since they're an active skill instead. You press the button, you throw a grenade. Easy as that. The flash debuff attached to it makes it great for accidentally catching people in PvP. And as a CO player, I can definitely say that people in this game are just inherently bad at dodging grenades for some reason. The other two grenades though are special active. If you press the button once, you'll load the grenades and they'll be counted next to your flight counter. Press the button again once you throw one grenade. If you double tap the button, you'll chuck all of them. I think you might have to reach a certain level to do this technically, but I don't remember. It's not really a groundbreaking system, it pretty much just means that it's a special active where you have to press the button a few more times. Though if you land all three grenades on someone, you can completely murder their speed and defense! What, it only lasts 3 seconds? What am I supposed to do in 3 seconds? This isn't exactly a class with high burst damage. Uh, whatever the case, always be flying even though the controls suck, Blazing Bullet Master Race, Overstrike is life, and grenades are surprisingly non-complicated. Oh, right, one more thing. Uh, I, I, I'm sticking this at the end of the guide since you don't get it until the end of the game. Uh, I and her Yar is really nice. You use the skill, right? And every time you shoot, you get some assistant fire. What's really great is that it makes the flying controls easier. Once you've used your double jump, you can press up to activate the I and her Yar wing. And from there, you can pretty much just stay in midair until the buff ends, or you can press down if you want to descend. This is super nice because you don't have to put up with those flying controls anymore. But yeah, I, I figured I'd slap that on somewhere. Well, I didn't really 
really have a good place to put it, and you get it at the end of the skill tree, so I put it at the end. Wow, that was a voice crack. You might be wondering why I decided to do a Minerva guide before anyone else, especially after how long people wanted a Chun guide out of me. Well, I, I just don't like the blatant Roseism in this game. I don't think she gets the respect she deserves. And hey, this video shows that Rose gameplay has depth. What if instead of this entire video, I just said press X a lot? Yeah, it wouldn't be a good guide. It's almost like there's more to Rose than that, except maybe Black Massacre. Yeah, she's pretty much just... Yeah, I'm Branko. Goodbye, everyone.